Hello, my name is Grant Fritchie. I work for Redgate Software. Today I want to show you a tip about SQL Prompt. But first, I've got to take care of some work inside the, the company here. I've got a QA database I need to get rid of, so I'm going to run this query to uh, drop the database. And so it's running against the... Oh, that's production, not QA. <laughs> Well, that was fun. Now, what should have happened in this situation? Well, I should have had some series of checks and balances in place to prevent me from accidentally dropping a database against my production server. So let's take a look at SQL Prompt and the options we have available there. And if we take a look in it, one of the options that we have is for tabs. Now, we have tab history, which is interesting. I'd love to talk to you about that sometime. But first, I'm going to talk to you about tab color. Tab color is pretty cool. What I can do is I can add a server or a database, and I'll add my own server here initially. And from there, I can then pick and choose how I want the tabs to be colored for this server. So if I had defined this up front as a production server, I could have clicked OK here. And then you'll see that any of the tabs connected to this server show up bright red. So I can tell immediately that this is a production system and I should have been more careful with running a drop database statement. You can even modify this stuff by going into the options, into the color, and you can edit the environments. This allows you to add your own environment or modify the colors for the environments that we've had laid out here for you, staging, testing, development, and local. And all of this will give you one additional check to ensure that you're not doing something crazy on your production system. All thanks to SQL Prompt. My name is Grant Fritchie. I work for Redgate Software.